several years now in federal custody on a gun charge. Nashawn Jones, who performs under the name Honeycomb Brazy, is one of three people arrested during a traffic stop earlier this month. Fox News' Brendan Kirby is live at the Breaking News Center with more on this. Brendan, all of this starting at the W.K. Wilson Bridge on Interstate 65. Yeah, that's right, Lee. It was December 18th. The Mobile County Sheriff's deputy noticed that the sport utility vehicle had tinted windows had pulled it over at exit 22 on I-65 in Crayola. Court records filed last week indicate that law enforcement officers found guns and drugs. An affidavit filed by an FBI task force officer says a sheriff's deputy noticed a 2022 Cadillac Escalade was in the passing lane for too long on Interstate 65 and had tinted windows. The driver was listed as 31-year-old Mobile resident Mason Fuller. Court documents say he was wearing a soft body armor labeled enforcement and had a bullet. Yo, yo. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, a few platforms on social media have made claims that Honeycomb Brazy have been bonded out since his last arrest where he was picked up on weapons possessing charges. Judging from what his family has put out via Honeycomb Brazy's Instagram account, he hired a pair of janky security guards who was hired to protect Brazy and be able to hold the weapons down just in case anything happens, being that Brazy can't possess a weapon himself. Now, some would say that he's moving smart, however, it turns out that his security guards themselves was pretty much in the same boat as Honeycomb Brazy and not being permitted to carry a firearm themselves. Now, with Brazy already being on probation after being sentenced to serve 15 years in prison back in 2020, for being a felon in possession of a firearm, he's not supposed to catch any new charges or be in police contact. This weapon charge will make matters worse for him, especially with it being federal. My only guess is maybe the feds picked it up this time, because as you know, when you continue getting in trouble for the same crime, usually the feds step in, and at that point, you can almost assure that you'll be doing some time. This is when they consider you a habitual felon and continue breaking the law, thus giving you harsher punishment. Now, we all heard of Honeycomb Brazy being arrested on weapon possession charges before, but we didn't hear how everything transpired and what actually led to his arrest, which is actually interesting. So we're going to get into that and also get into a response from his family who would alert us that Honeycomb Brazy's security wasn't as legal as they claimed to be. So hit that thumbs up button so we can get this video into the algorithm. Now, let's get into it. It all started on December 18th, 2023 on the W.K. Wilson Bridge, I-65, when Alabama police would stop Honeycomb Brazy and two other men due to a traffic infraction. Mobile police says they became suspicious when a 2022 Cadillac SUV with tinted windows was in the left passing lane for way too long. When they realized the SUV wasn't passing anyone and was just cruising in the left lane, they decided to pull the SUV over by exit 22 on the interstate. 31-year-old Mason Fuller was the driver, and at the time of the stop, he was wearing soft armor and had a bulletproof vest in the car as well. Court documents never specified why a search was warranted, even though it was just a traffic infraction. It could have been the smell of marijuana or alcohol, or maybe the bulletproof vest, but it's not specified in any of the articles published. Upon searching the car, authorities would find two firearms during the traffic stop, including one Gerson MC-28 SA 9mm pistol, and one Smith & Wesson MP-15 AR pistol. All three men, the driver Mason Fuller and another male passenger identified as 39-year-old Miguel Hall and Nashawn Jones, aka Honeycomb Brazy, were charged with possessing both of the firearms and court documents noted that promethazine, better known as lean, and marijuana was found in the SUV as well. Now, if you're wondering how was all three men charged with weapons possession if there was only two firearms, 
but this usually means that nobody in the car wanted to own up to the weapons and say it belonged to either one of them. So what ends up happening is all three of them are charged with it being that they're all in the vehicle. We know that Honeycomb Brazy won't say it's his because Brazy is prohibited from possessing weapons due to already being a convicted felon. However, it will turn out that the two gentlemen that was riding with Brazy are also prior convicted felons as well, which makes perfect sense why neither one of them wanted to say the weapons was theirs either. But the only problem with that is, judging from a statement issued from Brazy's brother, those were supposed to be the security guards. So in a nutshell, Honeycomb Brazy hired security guards to hold weapons and protect them so he doesn't have to, but their situation was just as illegal as his situation. So let's get into what Brazy's brother had to say as he would take to his Instagram story to say, quote, Boy, this is Brazy. How the F they doing my brother? At I Hustle No Luck bought these fake ass security N-words around him from Texas and we thinking these MFs legit. How the F these N-words fellas too got us thinking y'all really hired security. These N-words pleaded not guilty and ish like they're trying to set them up, but the guns in one of them N-words names and the other N-word BM name. So how the F y'all pleaded not guilty, then on top of that, they move my brother to another prison and keep you N-words down in the city, back there talking to police for three to four hours, then when Brazy try to see what's up, N-words talking about they can't talk to him. The F type of time you H-word A ends is on. My MF brother got out doing the right-ish, giving back to the community, squashing beef in the city, moving right with some fake ass security that he thought was legit and ain't get caught up like this on some BS cause N-words ain't higher real security. Boy, all you N-words real H's. Now none of us knew why Brazy would possess a weapon when we first heard he was arrested for that charge, knowing that he's on probation for prior weapon possession charges himself. However, it all makes sense now. It definitely sounds like an iffy situation for sure, but a few things didn't make sense. Brazy's brother says one of them are felons, but the weapon is in his name. I don't know too much felons that can have weapons in their name, and if that's the case and the weapon is in his name, and the other is in the other security's baby mother's name, then why would Brazy be connected to them weapons? I don't know. But one of the articles did say that the FBI is trying to get Brazy's DNA to see if any would trace back to any of the weapons as well. So I guess if everything checks out at the proper investigation, then maybe Brazy would be free to go. Reports will also make it clear that Brazy been in and out of jail since 2016 on various charges. So I don't know if maybe that's why the feds decided to intervene with this case. Like I said earlier, Honeycomb definitely fits the criteria of an habitual criminal, aka repeated offender. Couple reports say that Brazy has already been released on bond, but a quick glance at his page on Instagram will show that he just uploaded a freestyle video five hours ago, looking like he was still incarcerated. Plus, I don't know how this goes for every state, but usually if you're charged with a crime while on probation, sometimes you have a probation hold. But then again, if you have a good enough PO, it would allow you to fight the case from the outside and see the outcome before they decide to violate you on probation. So I don't know how that works, but it just is what it is. If he's home, then you know, kudos to him. That's a good look because he's been in and out of jail. You know, it's like he can't even get a break these days, man. But here's my thing. I never understood people that break traffic laws knowing they have illegal substances or weapons in their vehicle. Like people that smoke marijuana in the car knowing they have an illegal firearm in there. It just don't make sense. You're breaking the law twice in one setting where you know the marijuana is going to lead them to have probable cause to search the car where they'll eventually find the weapon. So to eliminate all that, just don't smoke, <laughs> right? Don't do anything that's going to warrant you to be stopped if you know you're riding dirty. Simple. But judging from Brazy's brother, he didn't know these guards were fake security guards. I guess next time he'll do a better job by doing a background check or something. I don't know, man, but it's just an unfortunate janky situation. And hopefully he'll come out of this unscathed, man. Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.